Hello, how's it going? This is Joy and I'm back for this crazy kind of colorful, dramatic, bold, Brazilian colorful type of makeup look. You can call it however you want. I basically just wanted to have a lot of fun doing that makeup. I wanted to use colors that I don't usually use that much. And I also wanted to use these two palettes that I absolutely love and I've never really shown them to you on my channel yet. So I've used the Zulu palettes by Juvia's Place and I've used the Magic Mini by Juvia's Place as well. So these two are amazing, amazing, amazing. If you haven't tried that brand, you should. It's really, really, really great quality eyeshadows and it's pretty cheap and yeah if you like this look and want to see how I created it then just keep on watching okay so I have already primed and moisturized my face as always so now I'm going to use my foundation I'm expecting an ASOS package and I just saw the delivery guy um, in my street so I think that I'm gonna have to go and grab my package really soon so then I'm gonna use my concealer which is the Becca it's the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer I think I'm the shade natural or something like that, or light natural, or I think it's a name like that. And now I'm just gonna be priming my eyes because. I'm powdering my face and this is a cream product so even though I'm not going to do my eyes just yet I'm still going to prime it now so that I can powder it Okay, so I'm going to do my eyebrows and then I'll be right back. Okay, so for today's eyes, I'm going to be using these two palettes that I love, that I've had a few months ago. Um, I really, really like them. So it's the Magic Mini Palette and the Zulu Palette by Juvia's Place. And if you've watched my channel, you know that I always use the Nubian Palette or the Nubian 2 palette, I think it is, the, the little green one. I love that brand. It's such an affordable and such a good quality brand and it's cruelty free. So yeah, I do love that brand and I'm going to use these two today. So I'm going to start by mixing the shade Kessie and the shade Nana together. So I'm going to take a bit of that and a bit of that, no that. A bit of that and a bit of that together to make my transition color. I'm going to Paris in a couple of weeks. So I'm pretty excited because even though I'm not a huge fan of Paris, I know that everybody always think that Paris is like so perfect and it's such a it's such a touristic city and I know that a lot of people love Paris but um, when you actually meet French people you will see that there are actually lots of people who don't like a lot, lot of French people who don't especially like Paris or either it's not that we don't like it it's just that it's it's kind of not that big of a deal to most of us um, because we have so many more, like, we have so many places around France that are so much more beautiful than just the city, you know? So to us, it's like, yeah, it's nice and it's full of 
job opportunities and that's why I'd say like 90 people of the 90% of the people that go to Paris um, like French people um, we go for job opportunities but it's never like I know many 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 people who will tell you that either they just like Paris or that they don't even like it but I don't know that many people that actually love Paris you know but anyways um, so I'm going to Paris in a couple of weeks because two of my friends actually moved there for a job um, for like for working so I'm going to see them and I'm actually going to like I have two photo shoots planned also so I'm I'm really excited for those photo shoots because I think that they are going to be really cool because um, because the two photographers that I'm going to be shooting with I really really like them they're really artistic and they have this this type of photos that when you look at them you know if you know them that you know it's them you know so I really like that in photographers so now I'm gonna take the Zulu palette and it's broken so I can't really bend it but I'm gonna take a bit of that green color here that minty green color here and I'm gonna put that in my crease So next I'm gonna take another blending brush it's a bigger blend it's the same one but a bigger version and I'm gonna take the color Aja Aja that one and I'm gonna put it in my crease on top of what I just did I'm just gonna apply it to make it a little darker <laughs> it looks terrible right now, but don't worry. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine So I don't want to make I don't want to make a proper cut crease But I think that I'm gonna do like kind of a halo effect So I'm gonna put some concealer here and here and then I'm gonna apply a really bright green shimmery shade Now I'm gonna take the color Buzo, which is that one here, the bright green one here. And now I'm gonna take back my fluffy brush and I'm gonna take back my transition color. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up and finish that eye, like do the same on that eye and then I'll be right back. All right, so I cleaned up kind of the edges and I did my wing liner. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take the same green transition shade that I used and a little bit of that in the middle here and a little bit of the darkest color but just a tiny bit of the darkest color that I used so then I'm gonna take I feel like I want to I, I want to do either silver in here for the inner bits or I'm wondering if I'm not gonna do this trash color it's called trash this lemony lime type of color I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do a bit of that and maybe a bit of silver on top I don't know but I'm gonna try that for my inner corner because I think it could be cool could be another pop of color it's 
it's not really showing that much. I thought it would be a lot more puppy than that. And so then I'm gonna take the silver one. This one is the Revolt one. It's from the Urban Decay electric palette that I've had for ages. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some green eye pencil in my waterline. I can't do this on camera. And then I'm gonna put some false lashes, some mascara and false lashes on. So I'll be back after all this. I am back. So I finished the eyes completely. Um, yeah, basically I finished the eyes completely. So now I'm gonna put some blush and highlight to finish my, to finish the makeup, to finish my skin. So I'm using this blush by MAC that is the Peach Twist. I don't want to put too much on because my eyes are already so crazy that I don't want to put too much on. And then I'm going to use my highlighter which is which is this beauty the it's the far sally jelly bim highlighter in glazed so i clearly can't show you like that because it's it, it it's like this um, liquid texture so it's gonna fall if i show you but i'm gonna show you on my face and it is stunning it is so beautiful. It's really stunning. That thing is incredible, I swear. It looks super nice. It stays on all day. It doesn't go weird throughout the day. It it can look subtle if you don't if you don't put too much, it can look quite subtle, but then you can go totally crazy with it too. And yeah, so that's it. I just have to do the lips and then it will be completely done. So for my lips, I'm going to do something quite nude. So I'm taking my Soap Culture lip liner. So then I think I'm gonna use a bit of this a Kat Von D lip, liquid lipstick that I used to wear all the time when I got it a couple of years ago. And for the last bit, for the last bit because I knew that this was going to be a little bit, a little tiny bit too brownish for my liking for this particular look. So I'm going to use a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury nude lipstick. It's the Super Cindy lipstick. And this one is a bit more pinky. So I'm just applying this on top. Just to, just to make it look a little more, a little pinkier. I know it's kind of crazy colorful, but it's fun to do it sometimes. But but yeah, this is the finished look. I hope that you liked it. And if you did, as always, please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. And thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.